Good afternoon. Welcome to Celtic Thistle Psychics. Now I'm Spirit Dancer and today we are going to be talking about our sacred space and our sacred circle. Now before I do any work I try and attune a bit of music, get my heart centre open. So this little sounding bowl is the musical note F which is our heart centre. We can also run it round. So this brings my focus and my intent to the moment. So that's what I, I start with. And then I will smudge. And if you've seen my smudging video, so we smudge yourself and our direction with the feather. So smudge yourself, breathing it in, feeling it cleansing your body, mind and spirit. And then we'll work with the directions. So we'll do the east, we'll do the south, we'll do the west, we'll do the north, we'll do above, we'll do below, and we'll do within and without. So that's us cleansing our energy because working with a smudge you are neutralizing the energy you're starting with a blank canvas so to speak and obviously I'm speaking about the directions then so our sacred directions so one of the things you will need is a compass this one I've got travel sets and I've got sets that work at home so get yourself a, just a little compass work out where your north is So you've got your directions, you've smudged, and you're prepared. <clears throat> so to create a, create a sacred space then, you want to be blessing now that you've got neutral energy. So I do this with, first of all, my water. So this is the goddess water from the chalice well. This is the white water. The, this one is the red water. So I have my little Celtic um, glass there. So cleanse in each direction. And you can see I consecrate and I cleanse and I bless. And above and below and yourself again. So we have now cleanse with water. Our next part is blessing and consecrating with fire. You can do this with an incense stick or you can use a candle again working in the directions above and below and within and without so this is you building your energy you're getting your energy ready for your sacred working whatever your sacred working may be it could be just healing you could be get connecting with your inner self, your inner divinity, or you could be working for a, a, a higher purpose. Now when you're working with the directions and you're starting your energy, you want to be prepared, so make yourself a list. So your list would be what are you going to put in your directions. You can just use your mind for this. You have symbols for doing this. So when you go out and about, if you're visiting sacred sites or woodlands, and you know we've had the um, the heat wave and the drought, so on Dartmoor there's been no fires. This is why I like my stones. <clears throat> These stones are lovely because this one is air, and it it feels like air and smoke. So these were all in the same plant pot, which was marvellous. <coughs> So this one represents air, so I can put that in the east. You can use feathers, I have various ones. You don't need to, they don't need to be huge. Um, so I have various. You may be like me where you pick up stones and feathers, whatever you go. So little ones are fine. Or you can have larger ones. You can use symbols. These have the symbols of the archangels on. Or you can use sound. 
the sound travels through air, anything you want to connect with air. So you can make a little altar in your, your east for air, or just put a little bowl or light a candle. Some people just put candles in the directions, candle in the centre. This one is fire, so it's got red and orange in it. This is a incense that I mixed my sense and incense oil. And this was summer solstice I made this. So this would represent fire, the summer solstice. <coughs> or an incense representing fire. Water, the stone, which is either raindrops or water. We have shells, a piece of coral that was gifted to me. Again, a symbol of the archangel. Earth, this little stone represents my earth. Natural objects, wood, a little nut, or again, an archangel symbol for representing the earth. This is a piece of stone from, uh, sorry, a piece of wood, a twig that I got from the holy thorn tree. The, uh, the holy thorn tree is obviously sacred for thousands of years and started in Glastonbury and this one was from a tree that was one of um, the cuttings that are given to sacred places like churches or sacred areas. So I meditated with the tree and as a druid we often feel like we are gifted something. So this, this was a twig, I didn't take it off the tree. And if you are gifted something from Mother Earth, give back. Spirit, this stone has a spiral in it, which is fantastic. That can represent spirit. Again, incense. This is Kaifi, the oldest recipe for incense in the world. Or again, you can use symbolism. Now, basic symbols for the elements, triangles and double triangle, pentagrams. So there are many symbols that represent the corners and the sacred directions. If you need to, you can do this all inwards. You don't have to have physical items to be doing this. But I will work either way, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. And at time constraints as well. So you get your items that you think you need, make your list, smudge, bless and consecrate with your water. So your neutral energy is now being building up, the energy is building with your water and your fire. So then what I do is I do a little prayer. This one is a druid prayer that I have. So this goes in my little medicine bag. This is my little go-to that I've had for a long time. So that has my compass and stones and my prayer. And if you're anything like me and your memory is a bit bad, it's always good to write it down. You can pray whatever faith that you have. So as you're doing that and you've created your energy, you can call in, we have guardians in Druidry of the corner, or you can work with the archangels or whichever way you want. You can just... Ask for light and love to come in, fire, light. So we have created this sacred energy, the sacred space. And we think right now it's time for our work. Now before you do any work, you want to make a list if you, if you don't know a lot. Always have water. Always have a shawl or a blanket if you get cold. Another good thing to always have is a journal. Because when you've created this energy, you want to meditate or do your sacred work. And you, you can get your intuition, you can get symbols, you can get colours, connections from God, the angels, um, Mother Earth. And this is a good idea to always have. This is my little travel one, which they are very, very handy to um, fit into the bag or the one that I have at home. I have a lot of journals and notes that I take. So now we've created our space, we've called in the guardians 
and you want to give peace and love to all the sacred directions and feel that peace, that love, that joy within yourself and listen to what you're sensing, what you're feeling. Do you feel the energy has changed? Do you feel that you have created your sacred space? Now some people will feel like they want to cast a circle then once they've got this energy and they want to make it even more potent, even more sacred. Now you can do this with just your finger, you can do it with your hand, or you can use a wand. So if you're doing that, a lot of people will start again from the east, and as they're creating their circle, and you can see the circle and it becomes a globe as above, so below. Again, however you want to work, and listen to what feels right for you. You don't need these things if you can imagine it in your mind where your focus and your intent goes, thought follows. You can create it as you're sitting still and meditating. As a druid, we have um, our inner sacred grove. And this means that we meditate and we do this as we are journeying inwards. But sometimes it is good to have the practical understandings. And if you have the practical understanding it can help your memory then so as I say you can cast your sacred circle then and then you can meditate in a deeper level and every, everything is about understanding you and understanding what you need in your spiritual path and listen feel and absorb and write it down after your meditation Always have your water, as I say, because after working with high energy, you, you will need water to ground yourself. If you feel that your energy will go high, especially if you're working with crystals or wands, etc., have some food there. And when you've completed your meditation, you can start with giving praise, giving thanks, you know, be grateful. And then unwind your circle. So you bring yourself down in your energy a little again. Give thanks to your guardians of the corners and the sacred direction. Check the energy. Make sure that you feel that that energy is beginning to come back fully into the physical world. And then give thanks again. Check your sacred directions are all closed. Write more in your journal, and that's you, you're completed. You can adapt it in any way that feels right for you. As I say, a lot of people will have candles just in the corner, so you can blow out your candles. A lot of people don't blow out the candles. They feel that uh, to do that, you, you're stopping the light. light. Once it's spreading, that vibration, that energy is going... So we don't mind being able to blow out a candle in Drudry. So as you're doing this again, you're thinking, right, fully into the physical. If you feel that your energy is going to be high, you can ground and protect first. So you may watch my other uh, video on grounding and protecting. And I hope this one has been helpful. If you do wear sacred robes, you can use incense to bless and consecrate yourself and your and your ritual clothes. You can make your own with meadow sweet. Like this um, one is made, as I say, at summer solstice 2019. So it's how you want to work and what you want to go, do. And I hope this video has been helpful. So I'm Spirit Dancer. See you next time. Bye for now.